hello this video is about average value of ac over a full time period t ac means what ac is that type of current whose magnitude changes continuously and periodically also direction keeps changing one way or the other the direction changes first in one direction and then in the opposite direction first half of the time period in one direction and the second half of the time period in the opposite direction such current we say it is alternating current we can say that it is alternating current we want to find the average value of ac over a full time period t full time period t because it is continuously varying quantity to find average we need integration and the definition of average value of ac over a full time period t says that it is total charge divided by total time total charge means what charge flowing in time period t divided by t t means this capital t which is time period so this is the definition for average value of ac over a time period t so total charge flowing in time t that is capital t divided by t so first we will find total charge flowing in time t then divide by this time capital t whenever i say time t i mean only this capital t in this context so how to find the total charge first what we should do let's say that you switch on the current let's say the current is flowing through a resistor or the current is in a circuit after a time t from the instant of switching on let's say the charge is uh say q when after a time t from the time of switching on after a time t charge is q now what do you do you consider a small time interval dt further from this time t okay and then after a time t you know you said charge q let's say current is i when after a time t current is i charge is q consider a small time interval dt dt is so small that the change in this current i can be neglected that is current can be treated to be constant all these things are given here like this so consider ac to be flowing through a conductor or a resistor because any conductor will have some resistance unless it is a superconductor then after a time t from the beginning from the beginning let the current be i consider a small time dt such that the current flowing during this time can be taken to be constant at i it doesn't vary it varies in fact but we take such a small time we can make this dt very very small we can make it very 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 small so that this current i can be taken to be constant so find small amount of charge dq flowing through this time okay time is i dt the small charge is nothing but dq so we can write mathematically dq equal to i dt but we want to find total charge flowing from zero to capital t so go for integration all right zero to t why zero to t starting instant and one time period we want to find average in this time interval what is i it's a current which is varying so we know ac is represented as i equal to i not sin omega t so you can replace i by i not sin omega t dt dt this i not you know which is constant that can be taken outside the integration this is constant for the given ac so i not sin omega t as it is so you have to integrate basically you should integrate this so we can directly write this 0 uh, to t integral sin theta we know that it is minus cos theta 
but here sin omega t when you integrate you will get minus cos omega t by omega when you integrate sin omega t with respect to t so you can of course directly write if you are well versed in calculus or integration or you go by the normal method usual way in which a mathematics students will do use what is known as sub, uh, substitution method so in this method what you will do you know for omega t for this omega t you will substitute say let's say theta theta equal to omega t then differentiate and then get some values so theta is omega t so differentiate theta you get d theta omega constant for given ac so omega dt but we have to substitute for dt you know in the new variable so dt equal to d theta by omega again you rewrite this theta equal to omega is 2 pi by capital t into this t so when small t equal to capital t in this you put small t as capital t here then you can see this and this you can cancel then theta will be equal to 2 pi so wherever this capital t comes you know here in this case you can write as 2 pi because we are changing the variable from uh, t to theta so for dt you will write d theta by omega sin omega t you will write sin theta for the upper limit capital t you will put 2 pi we have proved it here when small t equal to capital t you get theta equal to 2 pi the i not has been taken out now this integration is simply 0 to 2 pi sin theta d theta by omega okay that will be much simpler right so you see here for dt you have to write d theta by omega so d theta and omega sin omega t is sin theta for capital t you put 2 pi i not already is there omega has been taken out now it is ordinary integration of course lower limit is there upper limit is there when you integrate this you will get minus cos theta so that minus i am writing outside cos theta inside this omega i am writing as it is so minus i not by omega cos theta 0 to 2 pi so how do you evaluate this um, definite integral in place of theta put the upper limit minus again in place of theta you put lower limit and then simplify see beautifully it is coming as zero because for theta when you put 2 pi you know the cos 2 pi minus again for theta you put small zero this is this is a method of evaluating definite integral so minus cos for theta you put the lower limit simplify cos 2 pi is 1 cos 2 pi is 1 cos zero is also 1 so 1 minus 1 that is zero multiply by this again zero so you got total charge flowing in one time period is zero but total charge by time total time so zero by t you will get which is again zero got it therefore average value of ac over one full time period is zero you can explain this by drawing some graph say this is the x axis which we can use to denote time the y axis wherein we mark current time and current the alternating current you know i i not sin omega t so draw the graph okay this is the graph and the peak value will be i not 
and this will be i not i not now the current we will consider from here to here no no problem this only capital t okay of course this will be t by 2 the curve is very symmetric right this is t by 2 this is t now you can see uh in one half of the pe time period how to find charge the charge is given by the area beneath the current time graph charge is given by the area below the curve and x axis okay or if the area is below the x axis that area to be taken as negative so this area shaded this gives you charge flowing in time period t by 2 so you take the charge to be let's say q let's say this q here first to half the charge flowing first to half of the time period the charge flowing is q let's say i just draw a diagram here let's say there's a resistance uh, you take uh, for example the frequency of ac let's say it is 50 hertz that's a usual value so time period will be 1 by f which is 1 by 50 2 by 100 to seconds 0.02 second therefore what will be t by 2 0.01 second so first 0.01 second for this i'm just taking an example here okay so first 0.01 second charge is q first 0.01 second charge whatever it is the value we just take it as q the expression i'll just tell you okay so this charge is flowing like this q for the first half that means for the first 0.01 second after switching on then for the second half here you know the same shaded area you should consider here but down the x axis so if the charge flowing here is q charge flowing here also will be q because the area gives you charge but let's stay because it's below the x axis you can take it as minus q so the same charge now flows in the opposite direction q from left to right q from right to left okay here we represent as minus q here i say q but i mention the direction opposite here so total charge would be as we know q from left to right and q from right to left total charge would be zero crossing this r total charge is zero you can take this example that means next 0.01 second it is q again taking only the magnitude but of course you can take it is negative because flowing in opposite direction now total charge will be zero and moreover the areas will not differ this area and this area will be equal in magnitude so total charge crossing this resistance in time period t is zero so it's zero by t average current this is using graph this is over a time period t this is using graph previously we have seen how to prove it using integration understood this thank you